All right, I'm AJ. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. Hit that like button because you're going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So today I just wanted to talk about uh, another way that you can think about your savings is how many hours do you dedicate towards your future? So when you go to work, uh, the average person is usually working 40 hours per week. You know, that's the average work week. And out of that 40 hours, if you calculate how much money you actually put towards your savings and your investments, how many hours would that equal? So if you were to put just one hour per week towards your savings or investments, that would amount to 2.5% of savings rate. And at $10 per hour, if that's what you make, that would be $520 per year. If you're making $20 per hour, that would be $1,040. So if you look at your savings account, and you don't at least have 2.5% uh, savings, then you're really doing a bad job. In fact, if you don't have 6.5% savings rate, you're actually doing below average. And 6.5% is not actually a lot, especially when you think about how many hours you work per week, uh, how many hours you work per day, and how much of that money is actually going towards your savings. So if you were to actually dedicate a full day of your work week towards your savings, that will give you a savings rate of 20%. Now, that's a big leap going from you're dedicating one full day of work versus dedicating one hour of work towards your savings. And this can make a huge difference when you need to save for emergencies or in also saving for retirement, saving for your future, any medical needs you may need in the future, things of that nature. So you definitely want to think about your savings in that manner. And for those who don't get hourly wages, if you're on a salary, you just divide how much you get paid per week or bi-weekly, by 40 or by 80 respectively, and then that'll give you your hourly rate for your job, even if you work a salary job. Now, if you look at someone that's in the fire community that's saving between 70 to 90% of their income, uh, we're gonna use 80%, that middle ground right there. They're actually working four days out of five and they're saving four days of work and they're only using that fifth day as their actual expenses. So think of that huge difference between someone that's saving 80% of their income versus someone that's saving point or saving 2.5% of their income. They're only saving one hour versus someone else. They're saving 32 hours of their work towards their future. So when we talk about savings, we also want to talk about expenses. So some of the expenses that you have, how many hours are you working to actually pay for those expenses? Like I mentioned, if you just saved one hour of your paycheck and you made $10 per hour, if you do that every week, you would save $520 per year. Now think about something that you've purchased recently that cost about $500. So I'm gonna use like a, an Xbox or maybe a PlayStation. They usually run between three to $500, depending on which package you purchase. And now you've dedicated a full hour out of every week in the year of your paycheck to pay for that system. Or maybe if you bought a $500 pair of shoes, that means you worked one full hour every week just to get those shoes. So you, when, you, when you think about things in that manner, it really shows you how hard you're working for things that you know, you're know you not even gonna use after maybe a couple of years. Um, it's not gonna really create a lot of value for you. So you wanna put value in something that can create income for you in the future. So after watching this video, you know how many hours out of your work week are you gonna dedicate towards your savings and investments, save for your future, save for emergencies, you know, save for those things that those unexpected expenses like you may need to fix your car or you may even potentially lose your job or get injured those are the things you have to think about when you're thinking about your savings because you don't want to go into more debt or debt period because you weren't dedicating an hour or two hours or maybe a full day out of your work week towards those things so this was just a quick video i'm actually on vacation right now i'm in a beautiful san diego as you can see a little bit in the background i just wanted to get a, a video out here while i was here you know i'm still working so again thanks for taking the time to watch this video if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time i create a video and i really appreciate you taking this time out of your day thanks and have a great day